More than a dozen drivers are out hundreds, in some cases thousands of dollars, thanks to a massive pothole in a construction area on the interstate. We first told you about this story last week. New tonight, Kelly Kennedy has the shocking video of those potholes you'll see on just one station. She's live near I-480 East where all of this happened. And Kelly, you spoke to several of those victims today. Chris, yes, I did. I spoke with three victims and I learned that at least 17 people filed a police report that morning and most of them are furious and they blame ODOT. One man tells me he reported that pothole at 6.30 in the morning and an hour later, they finally shut down that lane. More than a dozen people say their cars took a beating after hitting this massive pothole on I-480 East near Stearns Road in a construction zone last week. Well, I tried to avoid that whole area for two days, but that's really the main east-west option, so we can't avoid it. Samantha Ashton's husband was one of them. There were a number of cars pulled off to the side, most of the sedans and smaller cars. All the tires were flat. Um, our steering wheel was totally to the right. Ashton says at first, the damage to their practically brand new car was estimated to be around $2,000. Now she says it's up to $7,100. This is a huge inconvenience because not only do we have to file an insurance claim, so now you would think our insurance would go up, but we're out of pocket on our deductible for at least six months until ODOT can reimburse. Another victim who didn't want to go on camera tells me after she hit the pothole, her car started shaking. She was two exits from her destination, so she kept driving. A few minutes later, she says her car hydroplaned and she crashed into a ditch. I'm pretty frustrated. I've already replaced all of my tires this year because of nails and other debris on 480. So it's really frustrating that a, a huge piece of the roadway is missing. Ashton says she is grateful for one thing, that her kids were not in the car. We have a seven month old and almost three year old and an eight year old. So on a Saturday morning, if we would have had all the kids in the back of the car, they could have caused injury. ODOT said at least 10 people have filed damage claims with them so far. I think somebody who's in charge of highway safety needs to reevaluate how much of the highway can be under construction at once. And ODOT did repair that pothole later that day, and they tell me if the weather cooperates, they should have the construction project wrapped up by November 11th. Reporting live near 480, Kelly Kennedy, 19 News.